Hey everybody, Rich Noto here, Flower and the Licensed Realtor, Flower and the Licensed Home Inspector, Flower and the Notary Public with Loan Signing Agent Certification, your construction trained realtor. And it's so important to have a realtor that has construction training on your side from start to finish. Probably the most important thing that you should be focused on if you are purchasing a house. And I know that most people focus on the price, they focus on the community, the floor plan, all that stuff. And most people totally overlook construction, but let's face it, when you close on the house, and that house is yours, well, to be perfectly honest, you at some point are gonna have the burden of all those construction defects that you ignored. And in the back of me is all construction. So construction, 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 that's what it's all about. Whether it's a new house or a resale house, a used resale house, you know, you want somebody that can help you to find issues and defects. And if you're a first time home buyer and you've never had to call in a contractor to make repairs, I suggest contacting some stucco companies, roofing companies, siding companies, electricians, HVAC, plumbers, call some cement companies, foundation companies, and you'll see how quickly Hundreds of dollars, but more likely thousands can be gone just like that. So again, it's just so important to have a house that's well built. So let's go take a walk and check out this house from Pulte. It's called the Mill Run. And I do have other videos of the Mill Run. I'm gonna walk on some of this nice sand because the grass isn't in yet. Pretty new community over here. So again, we're at Pulte Homes. We're actually kind of at the Davenport, Haines City border, so to speak. We're pretty close to both. And this is Hartford Terrace. Take off my sunglasses so I could see. Okay, so the Mill Run. I like this floor plan. I think I said it in some other videos. Let's see, we got storage underneath the stairs. Now always keep in mind that I do work for you as a home buyer's agent. I do not work for or represent any home builders. Here's your garage. See, there's a lot of extra space on each side of the garage door. And then there's a little, I think the hot water heater's over here. Yeah. Little nook back there for the hot water heater, which is nice. Now the first step is always the mortgage approval process. You know, that's one of the most important things. If you're thinking about purchasing a house, I do highly suggest it. Start with mortgage approval before you start picking out floor plans and communities because so many people end up terribly disappointed when they get the reality of the mortgage approval. And of course, you might also need some time to make financial repairs, I guess you could say, based on what the mortgage company tells you needs to be fixed. So, great bedroom on the first floor. It's a nice, large, spacious feeling bedroom. Pulte did a really good job with this house. You can see all that, all that space around the bed, or at least I hope you can. Now my service to you is also essentially free because the builder pays it, it's use it or lose it, but you have to typically with most builders, contact me first before you contact them, otherwise they won't let you use me as your 
There's your construction train realtor. Yeah, this is a good room too. Nice and big. I like the, the kitchen a lot. I like that this island has no sink. Lots of cabinets. And of course, unlike that myth that seems to circulate, and some people think that if they go to the builder alone, they're going to get a better deal because the builder is not paying me as a realtor. Well, that's just totally not true. That's probably, I'm going to call it a big lie. And if you know somebody that's been telling you that, I would suggest you probably don't want to take advice from them anymore. <laughs> don't take advice from them because it's just not true. And some of the builders actually in the contract that says something about that too. Which again proves it to be false. Nice large pantry, look at that. So the kitchen, living room, dining room, and the covered patio is a very good size as well, or the lanai, whatever you want to call it. So going up to the second floor, lots of steps, and then we come right up to a loft. Closet, and the laundry room. Yeah, so a little bit, I guess a tiny bit larger than some of the smallest I've seen. I guess the space right here kind of proves that. There's a little bit of space. And here we have a bedroom. Which is the master bedroom. And again, we're at Hartford Terrace, which is kind of at that Davenport, Haines City threshold. Master bathroom, pretty big shower. And a great size closet too. Yeah, I always like the mill run every time I'm in it. Ah, that's right. It's got this little, little extra closet section, and this is great. I feel like, I feel like this closet. Oh, I'm hitting the rack. I think that this closet is great, especially if maybe one person doesn't have too much as far as clothes go, and they could just use this, or this could be used as some kind of extra storage that's like not clothing, maybe supplies or or something else. Got your two sinks and the toilet's not in the closet in this house. I like that. Great loft. So kind of a different feeling uh, to this floor plan versus a lot of other builders. Where's the light? Ah, oh, there it is. And that was the shared bathroom, and here's a, a bedroom. And definitely a nice size bedroom as well. You can see they got furniture on one side of the bed. They got furniture over here. And then a piece of furniture over there. Oh, I like that. That light up video game thing. Oh, it plugs in. I feel like I need that for my house. <laughs> now, it's, it's probably the last thing that I need, but I do like it.
Wow, that's a big bedroom. Look at that. No, it's a small bed. It's a twin bed, but you could see if you did have somebody in this room that's sleeping in a twin, they'd be okay. Good space. So let's talk about this house and walk out. Okay, so the mill run from Pulte. This bedroom, as you could see, it feels good. It just feels nice. It feels spacious. And then over here, we have a hall closet. And then this bedroom over here. So two bedrooms on this side of the house and a bathroom, which then there's this loft. And then we come over here to this second floor master bedroom. So this is a four bedroom, and I like that because there is that one bedroom on the first floor. And if you've been watching my videos, you know how much how much I appreciate homes that have, at the very least, a, a shower on the first floor in addition to a place to sleep like a bedroom. It's just great for future flexibility. So if you're purchasing this house and maybe you know, you're gonna buy it a little bit later on in life, you could you know, live down here and then maybe upstairs could be your children or uh, grandchildren or whatever. But it's also excellent for a family too because it's just so well balanced. The kitchen, look at the kitchen. Lots of countertop space. And I actually like this sink. I've been looking at this sink. That's pretty wide. Yeah, look at the sink. Very nice. Nice countertops. And this island, this island is great because I feel like you could really cook a lot. If you want to make pizza, this is what you want to make pizza on. I'm kind of tired of the islands having the uh, uh, sink as, you know, uh, a part of the island. And then there was a lot of storage underneath the stairs. But what was, oh boy, did I move the camera? But again, there's this nice large bedroom. There's this nice large bedroom on the first floor. So if you also did, you know, have somebody that's an older relative coming to live with you, I mean, this is perfect because they got the bedroom, they have the bathroom right here. Of course, the laundry room is upstairs, but you know, I think that overall this is good. And please check out my website at richnodalhomes.com. You can always find the latest homes for sale at the Bottom Beach Communities page. If it's listed on the MLS, so check it out. And I do appreciate everyone stopping by to watch this. Have a great day. Prior to being a realtor, I purchased a house without a realtor and then with a realtor who had no construction training, no construction certification. And I can tell you that it's extremely important to have a realtor with construction certification. Here's how to get my service paid for by the builder free to you. Please contact me first before you contact any home builder. When you contact the home builder first, you may lose your paid for by the builder realtor representation. If you email them, call them, text them, go to the sales office, walk the models, anything that they can match up at the time of contract, they may say you cannot use a realtor. Please don't contact the builder and ask what their policies are either because that would be your first contact. You see how this works? When I went to purchase my first house, I was given terrible advice. Everybody told me I had to pay for a realtor, which is just not true. I had no realtor and it was terrible. From start to finish, it was exhausting. I was treated poorly at sales offices and after I signed my contract, the salesperson basically vanished on me. It was just a terrible experience. When I purchased my second house, I knew I needed a realtor, so I started searching. I encountered top sellers who seemed impressive, but they were just high pressure sales. They were telling me to go to the builder, tell them I'm your realtor. When you pick out the house you want, contact me and I'll come down and help you. They would show me two homes, three homes, ask me which one do I want to buy. Many of them couldn't even respond properly to an email, which is much like when I help my buyers to find resale homes. Many of the realtors that are selling these homes, it's like they don't even read what you wrote. So my realtor ended up being a new realtor. He was loyal. He went with me to like 20 builders that I picked out. He wasn't selling me out to sales associates. He wasn't selling me out to other realtors. He wasn't selling me out to resale home sellers. He was no doubt 
on my side. So like most realtors, the realtor that I picked had no construction training, no certification. At the time, I didn't even consider it. As we went from house to house with new construction, with resales, there were times I had questions and he didn't know or he was kind of guessing and he would at least tell me he's just guessing. The information that I received was incorrect. I realized that home inspectors are there to look over a house and find issues with them. But let's face it, the home inspector is with you for two hours, three hours looking at the house that you're interested in buying. Your realtor is with you, if the realtor is a good realtor, for potentially six months, 12 months while a new construction house is being built. Your realtor is going to be the one that's going to be there with you when you're dealing with rude, obnoxious construction managers that are lying to you when the home is built incorrectly and they just want you to just go Go away. They want you to just sign, say the house is okay, or it's going to be passed off the warranty, and that's it. So having a realtor without construction background is not a good idea. And if I was going to be buying a house in another state, even though I have a home inspector's license and I am trained, I would still want to find a realtor that is construction trained because the more eyes, the better. Everybody's going to spot something different. Just some quick tips. Just want you to understand that I believe in a comprehensive realtor service where I could answer and guide and look at home inspection reports and have an understanding of what's going on and how to help my buyers best. Thanks for watching this. Back to the video.